just a little background of the European Agency for Development in Special Needs Education. It started in 1996 and uh, it was uh, a continuation of a project we'll called Helios Project, also running by the European Union. Our goal in the agency is more or less to try to get from three levels the political decisions about changes and development, uh, research we can find in different countries and cooperate between researchers and practical information. And we try to combine these three things in the reports we are making. And we also try to find key issues for the development. So it's not only in general, we try to extract the most important part, can be guidelines, can be key factors. Generally in Europe, we have now changed from what is inclusive education discussion, because that's a separate discussion, to why is it needed, now to how should we implement it? Well, in Finland too, it's um, uh, in the legislation uh, stipulated that um, uh, when we decide where the pupil with special needs or special support will study, the first choice will always be the mainstream classes. And inside the school, it's uh, very important that there are uh, cooperation, close cooperation between different teachers, between the mainstream teachers, if it's a class teacher or or um, subject teacher and the special needs education teacher. And of course the principal, the pedagogical leadership is uh, the crucial thing. If, if the teacher have enough in-service training and uh, if they have enough knowledge, if they have this support from other professionals, then they, they can trust that they have uh, skills and abilities to teach different kind of children. You shall belong to a mainstream class. When you are going to the school, you belong to a mainstream class, not to a special class or anything like that. All children belong to that class. But then you need to, some, to do some extra support to them for different reasons. It can be training, it can be physiotherapy. My opinion is it, that it should be rather open curricula, which means that there are possibilities for the teachers to find different ways of acting in this field. can be curricula for the whole subject, can also be parts of the subject. But when the teacher is going to handle it in the classroom, they need to find a diversity in ways of acting. And like an example, when teachers, I connect of course to my, my experience in Sweden a lot, um, when they are going to organize a class, they very often work in teams or in small project plans. So there can be five children, five, five groups of children, and the teacher try to organize that children who have maybe some problems, they are also connected to different groups, and they try to find how can they, with their abilities, participate in the group and make something nice so they feel that they are belonging to the group and making something good together. So they try to involve them, to include them in the situation. It means it can be different tasks they are doing, it can be different things they are able to do also, but they start to stimulate them as far as possible. We have seen that um, the interventions that work in inclusive classrooms where students with disabilities profit from are also in the, in the advantage of other, other learners. So the type of accommodation and interventions you uh, uh, can introduce in schools in order to, to have students with disabilities to profit from also work for other students. I mentioned three of them. One is heterogeneous grouping. We have seen that heterogeneous grouping is a facilitator for not only academic achievement, but also for social relationships, effective domain, etc. Second is, is that, uh, for instance, peer tutoring, where students help each other. We know that just by explaining something to somebody else, it's better for your memory and for your future uh, educational career. That's a second factor we know that works not only for students or with, uh, who are vulnerable, but also for more brighter students. And the third one is uh, co-teaching. 
or our team teaching. We have seen um, in Europe, in many of our countries, excellent examples of co-teaching where the uh, focus was originally on students with disabilities, but that we see that also other students profit from the type of interventions that are being made in, in the, in the co-teaching arrangement. Every pupil can need some kind of support. We call it general support and, and, um, and uh, we give that a lot. So, so it's very important part of our system. Uh, I mean different kind of pedagogical methods, differentiation in the classroom and um, learning to l learn skills. They, they are helpful for everybody. And um, our, um, we call it part-time special needs education, what we have uh, in our stipulated in our legislation. Uh, it, it means the specialized teach, uh, teachers um, teaching. Um, I think it's one of the reasons behind our good PISA results. Mm -hmm.